Hey, this is Shantek. The last few videos we've been taking a look at how to set up a variety of car controllers from the Unity Asset Store. And although we still have a few videos left to get through, I thought we'd take a bit of a step back and try to cater to some of the new developers by covering a totally free option using Arcade Car Controller Lite version and a free car model from the Unity Asset Store. The download links are in the description. Jumping over into Unity, I've imported both of the assets. However, before we get started, it is worth noting that as this is the free light version of the car controller, it doesn't come with all the extras that the premium pack has. It's just a basic car switcher and car controller, but it is effective and it's free and it gives you an idea of what to expect from the premium pack. Although if you are interested in the premium version of the pack, then I do have a video of getting started with that here. The vehicle switching is pretty simple in the demo scene. The game controller script searches for any game objects that have a car controller attached and add it to a cars list for easy car switching. To get our own vehicle working with the existing three you see here, first we'll need to decide what vehicle we want to base it on. In my case, I'll be using the drift vehicle. So we'll duplicate that vehicle and then we'll rename it and then we'll create a new prefab in the cars prefab folder and we'll go original prefab. For the sake of testing, we'll bring in the vehicle that we've just replaced. And then our new vehicle, we'll just drag it over a little bit just so all four vehicles are on track. Now the new prefab that we've made, if we hit open, this is where we'll be making our vehicle. So to get started, we'll look for where our vehicle is. So in my case, it's the low poly vehicle one prefabs and it's here. So we'll drag that in. So for the vehicle that we've just dragged in, we will unpack that prefab. So we'll open everything up like this, as you see. The one thing to note with this specific vehicle is the different naming conventions here. So I'll just go through and rename that. So front left, front right, rear left, rear right. But in this case here, we have back left, back right, front left, front right. So back left and back right, I'll just change them to rear left and rear right to match. And then we'll just drag them into the same order as what you see above. So doing this, we'll just avoid any confusion when we go to set it up. The next step is to get the colliders into the same positions as our wheels. So to do that, we'll select the front left and under our transform, if we say copy position and then we go to our front left collider and in here we can say paste, paste position. So I've now gone through and done that for all four of the wheels. So the next thing we want to do is open up all of the colliders and the views for all of the wheels and we'll go through, select all the wheels and we can hit delete. Now you get to see why we renamed this as we now need to drag these into the matching views for all of the wheels. And if we go through, select all of our wheels, and in this case we have a collider, so we'll just remove the component. Then one of the most crucial steps that will be different depending on what car model you use. If we select our wheel collider, you can faintly see here the size of the collider is way off for the wheel. It's a pretty easy fix for this, it's just trial and error to then resize this to what you think fits your vehicle. In my case a value of 0.39 seems to fit the wheel pretty well. So selecting all four of the wheels and then changing the radius to 0.39 for this vehicle. Then next up we want to move the vehicle up. So under the new vehicle, the view, we have our old vehicle here so we can delete that out and then our new vehicle can just be dragged up into the view. And the next thing we're going to do under the body of our vehicle you can see we have a box collider so we'll just make sure we remove that. Now it might be a free pack, but it does still have the nice backfire particles, and you can see this car here has a twin exhaust setup. So what we'll do is we'll drag one into line for where we want it, and then we'll duplicate that, and we'll drag the second one across. Now you can see those are roughly set up with where we want them to be. And then under our vehicle here, where we have our car controller and our backfire particles, we will then add the second one in, so we now have both the particle effects in. And now back to the demo scene, I've just spaced out all the cars a bit nicer. So now if we hit play. And then we have the ability to then swap between vehicles. So I've gone ahead and dragged in one of the race vehicles, and then I've done the same process that I did before, just using the race vehicle as the base. So I've now made another prefab. In this instance though, I've taken the material of the vehicle, I've duplicated it, and I've coloured it, just to distinguish between the two. So now if I hit play, you'll see I have two different vehicles with very different handling between the two. It's as easy as that to get set up with a totally free car controller. If you like their pack, I do recommend checking out their paid version that comes as a complete racing game project. You can find the link in the description. This video was also recorded as a suggestion from my Discord, so if you have any of your own suggestions, feel free to jump over to my Discord or let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.